Oh, GB1, look! They're here! I can finally show them my guitar skills! Nonsense, GB1. They are here to hear me play guitar. Um, anyway, here's Wonderwall. Okay, GB1, good point. <sighs> Copyright is a big deal on YouTube, and I don't want to get in trouble. Maybe we should just stick to the 3D metal models for right now and come back to playing a little bit later. Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and that uh, cynical robot behind the camera there is GB1. Motley, you are a little cynical. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Metal Earth lead guitar. And this build looks awesome, not only because it looks pretty straightforward, but because it's also a guitar. And about five years ago, I actually learned how to play guitar from Justin Guitar here on YouTube. So this video is going to be all dedicated to him. Yeah, buddy, I even learned your fingerstyle method. It was a really cool thing. And if you're watching this video, man, I really thank you for teaching me this. Now, for teaching you guys how to build this model. What tools do we need to build our lead guitar? What are the tricky bits? And is it anything like our electric bass guitar? That's a great question, Groovers. Let's get down to our workbench and take a look at our package. And boom, there we have it, our full page to build the electric lead guitar. That's right, just one page and one sheet of metal, but don't let that fool you. We got some bending to do. The first thing we'll touch on is our neck detail. Next, we'll look at our body and how to get those sides just right. Finally, we'll talk about putting all of our assemblies together to make our awesome lead guitar. Taking a quick little look at this, there seems to be a lot of similarities to our bass guitar. So maybe we can use some of the methods from there and apply them here. I can see that we have a few new builders here in the audience too. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the basics for all those new builders out there. These 3D metal models require us to cut out our pieces then shape them using whatever we can. Once we have our parts correctly shaped, we can connect them together by bending or twisting our tabs. The way we bend or twist our tabs is indicated in the instructions by these circles and triangles. Personally, I always try to follow the instructions the first time when it comes to bending our tabs if I can. Then when the build is complete, I'll go over everything again and change anything that might stand out. I like to make my tabs as invisible as possible. That's how you get that museum quality you hear so much about. Ow, oh, GB1, I'm just having a little bit of fun before things happen. Now, what tools do we need to build our electric lead guitar? That's a good question. Let's ask our tool expert, Timothy. Why primitive humans insist on playing strings on boards is truly a mystery of the universe. Sometimes I think they just like being loud. Regardless, if you want to build this horrid thing, you will need nippers, tweezers, and mandrills. I'm muting all outside sounds for two hours. Thanks, Timothy. Man, I didn't know Daleks didn't like guitars. I know exactly what to get him for Christmas. Now, as always, these are just our suggestions and you don't need anything but nippers and tweezers to get the job done. But of course, having the right tools will make everything a lot easier for you. Now we looked at our instructions and we have all our tools. There's only one thing left for you to do and that's for to press that like and subscribe button. We're currently trying to get to 4,000 subscribers here on the show and really could use your help. Uh, and no pressure though. Hey, maybe I can play Wonderwall now. Why did you press like right then? Uh, are you trying to get me to not play Wonderwall or are you trying to get me to play Wonderwall? You're sending mixed messages here. Oh, don't worry about it. Thank you so much for pressing like and subscribe. I'm so glad you're going to be able to join me on our future projects. Now, let's not waste any more time and get down to the workbench and build our electric lead guitar. The Metal Earth lead guitar is a great build with big parts and minimum hardships, for the most part. With a little bit of patience and the puzzle solving mind ready, this build is great for beginners. Let's start with our neck detail. Grabbing part one, all we need to do is bend this into a steep triangle. After, we can line up our tabs and insert it into part two, securing these two tabs with a nice twist. I forgot to do this part and we'll have to make up for it later. Try to remember to do everything in order so you're not like me. 
let's move on to securing and forming our strings. This is actually formed very similar to our first part. Let's start by taking our tweezers and going right up to the fold line before we bend any of our flaps. This way, all of our sides will be equal and we'll know we have a square forming. Now we can insert our tabs into the insertion holes and give them a twist too. If you're having a hard time getting these tabs into their holes, I recommend slightly bending your tabs on one side. Sometimes this little bit of bending will save you a ton of time. Let's talk about part four. First thing we need to do is pop out the tuning keys. Next, we can begin to start forming our neck shape and the first of our ribbons. Now, I know this looks hard, but let's talk about two different methods to get this nicely shaped. The first thing we can do is use a tool like a mandrel. By looking at part two and understanding where some of the smaller bends need to be, we can pre-bend some of the detail before we go to attach it. By matching up the parts several times, we can see if we need to bend something just a little bit more. Another way is to use part two to help us bend part four in place. By inserting the tab into the insertion hole, we can begin using our tweezers and follow the different bits of detail around the neck. I recommend using lots of small bends rather than just one big bend to get all the detail that we need. Also, if you can, try not to secure the tabs until the end here because you might need that little bit of wiggle room to get that tab into that last insertion hole. Looking good, looking good. Let's go ahead and move on to our body. The first thing we need to do is form our control knobs with part six. These little guys can be formed with a toothpick. Just remember though to start big and then work your way down to the right size. This will avoid any little bits of extra metal popping out from the sides and will also avoid that teardrop shape. After our knobs are formed, we can use the top of the caps to get them in place. Once everything is secured, just don't forget to cap them over. Our knobs are looking pretty good, but we need to work on that out jack. This little piece needs to be formed concaved. Make sure that all the little ribby parts are on the back and the shiny side is facing up. We can form this with our tools or we can use our tweezers using that multiple bend method from earlier. Once we think we have the right shape, it's important to make sure our tabs go up 90 degrees so that we can secure them easily into part five. Okay, it's time for our edges. This might be the hardest part of the entire build. I made a few mistakes myself here and I came down to me not really paying attention to how the detail was formed. So I really can't stress this enough. Take note of the parts and their orientation before bending anything. Parts eight, nine, and 10 all need to attach to each other and can only be formed one way. Like before with our neck, we can apply the same technique and get a good shaping. Whichever method you end up doing, just remember to put the lines on the outside of the guitar for a proper finish. And that multiple bend method can be great for getting a really nice smooth curve. Now let's just secure these tabs and boom! Oh wow, we're really coming along now. Uh, let's just put all these things together. Grabbing our two assemblies, the first thing we need to do is attach our neck. Depending on how well you bent the side details here, it might be a little tricky. Because I had a few mistakes, mine was a little bit of a fight. If you're having the same problem I had, a quick little tip here to make things easier on you is to actually grab the insertion holes and flatten them out. This will aid in getting that angle just right for the tabs to go in their spot. You can either bend or twist the tabs here in place as long as they're tight and straight. Let's just connect these strings and now we're on to part 11. Looking at this piece, we have a small bend where our body meets the neck. Here, I used the guitar to get the right shape. This method was tricky and honestly, I might have been better off to pre-bend this whole thing before attaching it on. I think I would have avoided a lot of the headache. Now I'm just gonna shift these tabs a little bit, get them in place, and with a few bends, we're ready to make our stand. The stand is actually really simple. It's only three bends. Just one here, one here, and boom! Our electric guitar.
there we have it, the Metal Earth Electric Lead Guitar. This build was a lot of fun and extremely straightforward too. Yes, there was some tricky bits, like that little bridge piece that I forgot, and of course getting all that little detail formed up correctly around our edges. Was it difficult? Nah, not really. You just need to use the actual pieces here to help you form those kinds of parts. And if you have something round around your home, like say a marker, that can also help you get those more tighter bends. But of course, always using multiple tools, starting from the big size and getting down to the smaller ones, is always the best way to get these more really kind of difficult rounded pieces here. All right, Groovers, I had a really good time building the electric lead guitar with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Want to help the channel grow? Check out GrooveBuilders.ca. We have all kinds of really cool models on there at great prices with fast shipping to the United States and Canada. And of course, we have our electric lead guitar on there as well. Until next time, Groovers, keep building. Okay, GB1, now I have two guitars. Uh, can we play together? <laughs>